So you grew up poor, but you knew you were always meant for luxury. Your eyes are always wandering onto the most lavish lifestyles and expensive items. You know in your heart that you were just not fit for the life that you were born into. So what do you do? Well, perhaps you can work your way up to the top. You can accept the minimum wage jobs, living paycheck to paycheck, and getting a bunch of side hustles in order to be able to at least just climb up that ladder. Or you can actually just change your mentality in order to create a whole new lifestyle and reality for yourself. It's called faking it until you make it. You can completely alter your identity in order to believe in yourself and even get others to believe in you. This is how Anna Delvey faked it until she made it and how we can gain better beneficial insights from her rights and her wrongs. Faking it until you make it. Many people have doubted it, many people have debated it, but does it really work? I would argue yes, it most certainly can work. A few psychological white lies to yourself can accomplish a significant change in your mood and behavior. So how does faking it till you make it really work? Well here are some principles. The Hebian Principle. This psychology and neuroscience based principle suggests that when you do something and it is associated with something else, the two tend to become interlinked on a neural level. Our minds can often organize themselves in that way. The human mind acts in a manner that when it does anything, there is a circuit within their mind that fires in a certain way. This firing is a signal that the neurons send to other neurons. Another way that this works is using imagination as a tool. We can fire up neurons by just thinking about something. If you are thinking about making a meal, the simple mental imagery of it will share common circuits of actually doing it. This also works with emotions and mindset. Anna Delvey wasn't actually rich, but she behaved in a manner that she was a rich VIP status woman. And because she behaved this way, she treated herself this way and as did others. And repetition is key. The more you repeat these particular neuron circuits, the more these circuits become efficient and quick. This repetition conditions you to repeat this behavior. The automatic behavior feels natural and that natural feeling will eventually no longer feel fake. You can take advantage of this for confidence. You can become extremely confident in your ability to interact with others and gain further opportunities. I quote, enlightened deception can lead to higher truths and realistic goals. But what if you don't have realistic goals? Well, Anna Delvey is the subject of this video. She was on a fantastic path to success, abundance, riches by using this method. However, she failed by having unrealistic goals, operating out of optimism bias and creating a sense of distrust between herself and her allies. We could still learn a very valuable lesson about confidence, respect and power by using Anna Delvey as an example. First, let's talk about what she did right. Number one, reinventing herself, the alter ego effect. So Anna changed her name from Anna Sorokin to Anna Delvey in an attempt to reinvent herself. By changing her name, she was giving substance to this new identity that she was designing. I quote, as soon as you give something a name, you've given it an identity. You've given it a form, a shape, a structure. Her alter ego was of a rich girl with a large trust and an obscenely wealthy father. So she now has added more detail to her alter ego by applying particular behaviors, characteristics, and perspectives simply by using the tool of imagination. Now, this was not real. We know that it wasn't. She knew that it wasn't, but she still played the art until everyone, including herself, was convinced. Anna was determined to create a specific lifestyle for herself. She convinced others that she was worthy of VIP treatment because she was in the highest economic status. Number two, she pushed her limits and took risks. What's the point of creating an alter ego if not to act outside of the limits that you've imposed for yourself? The main reason for reinventing yourself is to buy bypass these preconceived circuits in your mind that identify you a certain way. And these preconceived ideas of yourself are what hold you back from reaching a higher potential. Put it this way, when you continue to see yourself as a poor girl with little opportunities, you are only going to continue behaving as a poor girl grasping at straws for opportunity and accepting poorer treatment. You have already identified yourself in this manner. Taking a break from this deep-rooted, consistent persona and image of yourself allows you to behave 
behave outside of those boundaries that you have created and now cannot escape from. Anna created this new identity and she used it to convince others of her potential, but she also took risks and made bold moves. And this continued to allow her to shine and elevate. She initially used her alter ego the correct way and she was on a fantastic path. So where did she go wrong? Optimism bias is when you believe that you are luckier than the average person and that you're less likely to experience negative events. Anna was operating out of this cognitive bias and although much of the time this can be a positive thing, in certain scenarios it's not wise or beneficial to carry around this mentality. Many criminals operate out of optimism bias. They have this sense of invincibility and they are much more optimistic than they are realistic. This enabled Anna to continue making poor decisions. Her first major poor decision was truly believing that she would get funded hundreds of thousands of dollars without any sort of background check or verification of her identity. This was simply unrealistic and not smart. It was a sign that she truly believed that she was invincible, could get away with anything. And following this initial terrible mistake, she made another very bad decision. She was so convicted in the belief that she would receive this money, so she made her way all the way to Morocco with no way to pay for this extremely expensive $60,000 vacation. And her only sense of security was the false belief that she was going to receive funding from Fortress that she never ended up receiving. Anna's next biggest mistake was her excess pride and inflated ego. Anna couldn't stand the fact that she was not actually as wealthy as she made herself out to be, and therefore she refused to admit this to anyone, including herself. This resulted in her leading Rachel on for many months, building up more and more anxiety in her friend, and eventually leading to Rachel's need to get back at her. Although Anna won that allegation in court, the consequences and additional charge was a headache that she could have avoided by making better decisions about her trip and then perhaps later being more honest with Rachel that she couldn't provide payment. Moral of the story, if you're going to reinvent yourself, be realistic, check your biases and check your pride. These are some of the biggest killers of success. Imagine Anna's goal was to be this big shot marketing manager or to be involved in fashion. She could probably have gotten a job at these top-notch corporations in New York and continue to grow until she could honestly become a successful business owner, which is what she wanted to do. Those are scenarios which many people only dream of, and they were more than possible for someone who mastered the art of self-reinvention like Anna. But her goals were simply unrealistic, they were criminal, she made poor decisions, she had an inflated ego and this led to a situation that was not ideal at all. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Please make sure to like, subscribe and share and I'll see you next week.